WFNN. Headline News Update. Hey folks, Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien today at the close. Uh, Dow Jones in the last 15 minutes gave up 200 points and the S&P dropped another 30 handles heading down towards the low of the day. Not good price action considering the Dow was down 400 and some points, rallied to be up 50 on the day and now it's giving most of that half of it back anyway. Uh, and also the S&P is weaker and the NASDAQ of course is still the weakest you know it's not been able to do anything and the matter of fact if it's closing down near its lows that means it's breaking two standard deviations and boy that is not a very good sign i'll bring that chart up just to give you an idea of the structure of what's going on in this nasdaq because this is just uh you know right out of that floor traders handbook that i that John Jameson and I wrote, you know, when you get below two standard deviations and close below there, that is a very, very negative sign. And that's, in fact, what's happening today. And, uh, you know, we've had uh, some pretty big moves, uh, $50, $60 in gold up and down today. Uh, crude oil was up and down. But the stock market, you know, looked like it was going to make it. But by golly, it just quite didn't do it. So that's why you got to pay very, very close attention to it. The Russell's down, the S&P's down, the Dow Jones is down. I mean, and not only that, it's coming off of a really strong, you know, resistance area up there at that 39.20 in the E-mini S&P. And it was, uh, you know, just a perfect setup for a low. And now, you know, or for a high, and you can see now we're, we're coming off very, very sharply telling us that the market wants to go a lot lower. We need to focus, folks, on how much money you risk when you're in these trades because stop and think, folks. Yesterday, the Dow Jones had a 1,400-point swing between up and down. You know, it was 1,100 down from the high to the low. And then we continued down another couple hundred, another 400 points today before it tried to rally, and the rally failed. The one to watch, keep an eye on the Treasury bonds because the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes are not acting bearish as they should be. That means there may be a rally coming in Treasury notes and Treasury bonds, and those markets are the most oversold of all. So just keep that in mind as you're looking at these charts. And thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Sharpening